In this video, we're going to walk through the process of recording transactions relating to a business bank loan in Zero Cloud Account software. The video will include how to record the initial advance that's come from the loan company into your business bank account. It will also include how to record the monthly repayments going back to the lending company. And also it will show how to record loan interest. The full article is available at zenonconnect.com slash blog. And if you find it useful, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. For the purposes of this tutorial, we've created a mock bank loan statement, which shows the bank loan that's been received by the business for £25,000 on the 30th of June, 2020. We've shown the monthly interest that increases the amount owed to the bank. And also it shows the monthly repayments, which are being transferred from the business's bank current account to the bank loan account, which obviously reduces the loan each month. And you'll see the room balanced on the right hand side here. So what we're going to do now is look at how we post all of these items within zero and make sure that the end bank balance ties in with what it says on the bank loan statement. Let's get started. First of all, we want to explain the bank loan advance that's come into the business bank account within Zero, And to do that, we need to find the transaction within the reconcile screen of the bank account. So we click on the reconcile button. And the first item in this tutorial example here is the Santander loan advance, £25,000, which has come into the business bank account. So what we want to do is code this up. So we will put Santander and the who, and we'll create a new contact. The what will be the loan account. Now by default, code number 900 is a great one to use for bank loans. We'll put Y, we'll just copy that Santander loan advance. We'll make sure that no VAT is clicked here because there's no VAT consequences of a loan advance coming in. And we click OK. Next, we want to code up the bank loan repayments that the business is making from the business account to the bank to repay the loan. So we've got these £950 repayments each month going out here. So what we can do is we can fill the details in here. So who will be Santander? What will be the same account as before? So that'll be account 900, the loan account that we're using for the bank loan. And we will just copy and paste Santander loan repayments here for the Y. And we'll make sure that no VAT again is selected here because there's no VAT consequences of repaying the loan. And we click OK. Now you'll see there's quite a few of these repayments that we need to process here in Zero. So what we can do is we can create a rule for that. So we click on the options drop down here. Create bank rule. And the way I like to do it is to first get rid of the pay ease blank line and we put description contains the word Santander loan repayment just in case there's any other symbols that are in any of the payments there that would affect it we make sure that it's called contains rather than equals and the contact we want to set that to be obviously Santander again and description well, we can put Santander loan repayment in there again to keep it consistent. The account will be 900 loan. Tax rate again will be no VAT. And we'll change the rule title just to Santander loan repayments. And we're ready to click save. And when we do, what this will do is create a bank rule so that every time a transaction with a description Santander loan repayment shows up on this bank account, it will automatically assume that you want to code it to the account loan 900. So we click save. 
And you can see that all these repayments now have that rule applied to it. So all we need to do now is go down, is check it as a valid amount, a valid repayment, and we click OK on all these amounts. So it really speeds up the bookkeeping. And that's it, we're done. So far in this tutorial, we've coded up the loan advance in zero, and we've also coded up all of these bank repayments that happen every month. Next, we need to post the interest, which increases the amount owed on the bank loan every month. And you wish, the issue is that we can't do that from the bank reconciliation screen because these in, increases in interest when, when we increase the loan account don't actually affect the bank account directly, the business bank account. They're just a loan adjustment. So what we need to do, if we look at zero side by side, is we need to process a manual journal to incorporate these interest amounts each month. So the way I have to do that is I go up to the plus sign in the top corner here and click on manual journal. The narration will put the detail which is monthly loan interest and we'll post the first one which is dated on the 31st of July 2020 copy that for the description there and the account for the first line of this journal will be the loan account there's no VAT remember on loan transactions and to increase the amount owed to the bank to the loan company we need to put a credit value in for this interest and that will be the first month over here is £108.11 so we'll put a credit value of £108.11 and the opposite entry on the second line will be bank loan interest. Now, within zero, by default, there's a code for interest paid. Now, we could use that, but often that's used for interest paid in the bank current account, for example. Um, I always like to separate bank loan interest from normal bank current account interest. So what we'll do is we'll click add new account. The account type will be, uh, let's have a look. We'll call it, um, expense and we'll call it let's try 455 that's available okay name will be bank loan interest and it'll be in the profit and loss account now, there's no tax as we've said previously on bank loan interest okay and we'll click on save so there we go, we've added the account and it automatically puts it in the journal entry here and it puts the amount in as well. Now we can click save on that once we've had a quick check and click post. Now we could go through the same process again if we just go onto the posted tab here. We can see it's showing up there. We could, we could go through the same process again and enter in all these items, the interest items each month. But to speed things up, what we can do is go into that previous journal we've just created and go up to journal options and click copy. And we can enter in the second amount of interest. So the date will be 31st of August, 2020. And you'll see here that it's already brought forward the two lines that we entered last time, so it saves us a bit of time. All we need to do is change the amount to £105.11, which is the second month amount here. Make sure you change the amount on both lines, and we can click post. Now, we can't use a repeating journal really here. Um, it won't save us any time because the amount is different each month for this interest, because obviously it decreases as we pay more of the loan off. Um, so the best way is to use the copy facility within zero that I've just showed you. So for example, to post to September, we would go into August, we go to journal options and we click copy, and then we would create and edit the new journal with the September interest value here. And we keep doing that until we brought the interest up to date.
Now that we've entered all the transactions relating to this bank loan into zero, we want to check that the end balance in zero is the same as it is on the bank statement here, on the, on the loan statement. So £14,699.11 as at the 1st of July 2021. So to do that, what we want to do is we'll go up to Accounting and Balance Sheet. And we change the date to the date we want to look at. In this case, it's 1st of July 2021. And click Update if it doesn't show already. And we go down and we find where code 900 is, the loan here. And we can see there that the balance does tie in, £14,699.11. And if we click on the value, we can see the activity that made up that balance. Now in this case, it's, it's currently only showing since 1st of April 2021. So if we can change that to the previous year, and it will show all the transactions from the very first money coming into the bank account. All of the monthly interest amounts going out, so increasing the loan value, and the monthly loan repayments that have been made from the business current account to the loan company, to Santander. And the balance decreases in line with our statement all the way down to 146911. So it's just an extra check to make sure that all the transactions have been entered correctly and do reflect the reality of the situation in terms of the balance of the loan. If the balance outstanding on the bank loan account in zero at a particular date for example, 1st of July in our tutorial, doesn't tie in with the bank loan balance outstanding on the same date per the actual loan statement, then you've probably got some transactions missing or extra transactions that have been put in there, or perhaps transactions have been entered incorrectly in terms of the value or the date. So what you would then need to do is tick off each of these transactions that are showing up in zero, so the loan advance, the monthly interest amounts and the repayments with the same values on the actual loan statement. Now, hopefully they'll all be the same, but obviously in that situation, something will be wrong. So the items that you don't tick off as being correct to the statement are ones that you need to look into, or if perhaps you haven't ticked them all off, you need to look into those, or if you've um, got some on the statement which haven't been included in zero, and obviously you need to enter that into zero. So there's no fast way of doing it, unfortunately. Um, it's just a case of ticking off individual transactions until you find the culprit of the error and then rectify it within zero by using one of the processes that we've been through to enter transactions for bank loans in this tutorial so far. Hope it helps. Thanks a lot. If we want to keep a closer eye on the balance of the bank loan, we can add it to the watch list, which is, sits on the zero dashboard, rather than have to go through the, the balance sheet report every time we want to see the value outstanding. So we, to do that, we go to the company name at the top, we go to settings, we go to looking for advanced settings, and we go to chart of accounts, and we find code 900, which is the bank loan that we want to monitor. There it is. And we click on it. And we go down to the bottom and we click show on dashboard watch list. And we click save. Now when we go to the dashboard, you'll see that the bank loan is sitting here within the account watch list box. And we can see the balance as it stands at the moment. And we can see the movement during this current month. So it lets us keep an eye on the outstanding bank loan account without having to go through the balance sheet report all the time. Head over to zenonconnect.com now to find out how our cloud software can improve the quality of your bookkeeping 
and reduce the amount of time it takes to get it done. Thanks for watching and remember to hit the subscribe button.